I imagine people at school have been saying some pretty scary words to you recently. Words like UCAS. Words like personal statement and course choice and university and I see it every single year. It's about this time and it's going to be in a PSAT lesson or in a form time or in an assembly and um, it's a bit of a shock because you weren't necessarily expecting it and they've said and sometimes like, you need to pick a course, pick a university and start writing a personal statement and everyone comes out of that and they start crying and goes, oh my god, this is a lot of pressure. And it is a lot of pressure. And it is really scary because this is potentially the first time that, you know, you've had to make a big decision for yourself. When you came to pick your A-levels, the choice of where to go was probably limited by where you live, where you get to. So maybe you had a choice of 10 places if you were lucky, or maybe you had a choice of 2 places, or 1 if you weren't so lucky. Your choice of courses was restricted by what was offered. Um, not everywhere offers law or politics, um, so maybe your choice was restricted. So while you had choice it was limited and restricted by circumstance it's not necessarily limited and restricted by circumstance anymore i know this sounds so cheesy but the world is your oyster you can go anywhere you want to and do anything that you want to and that is amazing and that is brilliant and that is such an opportunity except it can also be such a crushing pressure and responsibility and you don't know where to start and you don't know what to do um and it's okay i get it i know how you feel because i know this happens every single year so i have made loads and loads i think it's like 80 odd videos taking you through right from the very start how do you pick a course how do you know what courses are out there because there are some courses out there that I bet you didn't even know existed. How do you pick a university? How do you start writing a personal statement? That rather short section that is supposed to sell you as an amazing person to people that have never met you before. How do you make sure you've made the right choice? Um, it is quite a big responsibility um, and I'm here to share it all with you. So I've made you loads of videos, I've written you loads of stuff and um, you can go to my website and download loads and loads of stuff from there and read the articles and watch the videos and I'm here to help you every single step of the way with this scary and awesome responsibility that has been put on you in the middle of revising for your end of year exams and thinking about preparing for year 13. Um, because as well as doing all that stuff over some holiday and visiting places and making decisions, you, you have to prepare for year 13 as well. I'm sorry, it's not just going to be the, the kind of exciting UCAS stuff. You need to think about what you didn't understand in year 12 and go over that. You need to start, start thinking about making revision resources for year 13. Think about that summer or think about year 11 which hopefully you can still remember and think about potentially how stressed you were and what sort of things you could have done to make it easier and then try and replicate that for year 13. What do you wish you'd done in year, somewhere between year 10 and year 11 that you can do now to make year 13 easier? Is it making flashcards? Is it making notes? Is it going over stuff that you didn't understand? On my website, I am trying to produce as much stuff for A-level as I can. There's some stuff up there for A-level chemistry already. A-level biology stuff will be going up soon. And then there's going to be videos, revision guides, workbooks, um, multiple choice questions, predicted exam papers, all coming just for you guys. Um, so yeah, you have quite a lot of stuff to do over the summer. Um, I'm going to put a load of links for you so that you can go and look at what I've got for you already. And then the whole time, the whole way through this process, I'm going to be here with you every single step of the way. And I'm really excited because this is a fun journey for you. Ouch. Mm, I'll be too prim.